Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our competitive programming series, today we would be talking about uh, array rotation uh, that is the left rotation of an array or a list in Apex. Okay, so what is this and how we would be approaching this? So basically guys, uh, what is here is uh, this is your array and these are your array elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 0 1 2 3 4 is your indexing as you all know that arrays and lists have a zero based indexing okay so the first element is at array of zeroth index if we say that this in the name of this array or list is arr okay now what we are to do is we are to left rotation of an element by one what that means is uh, this two would come here 3 would come in the place of 2, 4 would come in the place of 3 and 5 would come in the place of 4 and ultimately what, uh, what we would be getting is uh, 1 would be in the place of 5 that means in here 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1 okay so now what if we do one more uh, rotation by 1 that means 3 at 2's position, 4 at 3's, 5 at 4's 1 at 5's and the remaining this 2 would be coming in here okay at the end see 3 4 5 1 and 2 so and this is the question for today like we would be working over two scenarios first in which we are to uh, rotate all uh, all the array and the second case would be that we would be rotating by some fixed position that might be n number of positions okay so how we would be dealing with that uh, let us uh, start with that in our developer console uh, okay guys so we are in our class and now i would be creating a method like public static void uh, rotate array or list so uh, in this scenario guys what we would be doing is uh, we would be just working uh, with the, some static data okay so what i would be doing is i would be creating a list of integer array is equal to new list of integer and as in the previous video i showed you that how we could create uh, this is one and so we created a list of five elements okay now what we have to do is first we would work simply uh, what that means is for let no, no, for integer i is equal to zero i is less than arr dot size i plus plus and uh, now what we would be uh, doing in here is uh, we would be uh, rotating the array so we would be doing is arr at i is equal to arr at i plus 1 so what it would be doing is uh, it would be picking up the next element so what we would be getting in here is integer uh, first in uh, first element would be array of 0 this would be the first element and what we would be doing is uh, after the iteration uh, we would be doing is okay so uh, in this way we got our uh, element uh, but one thing in here is first let us print uh, what we are getting so system dot debug uh, output plus arr so saving this and we would be uh, opening the anonymous window and first we would be uh, understanding that what is the output whether it is coming or not so open the log and execute first error is that uh, in the line 7 our system list is out of bound 
so first we would be understanding that why it is out of bounds okay so uh, our array is 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay uh, okay this is 5 not 3 so uh, now what it uh, does is the ith value i is 0 and for i is 0 what it is doing is array at i that means the array at position number 0 see this is the index and for that means the index at 0 uh, it would be containing the value of index at 1 that means it is consisting 2 2 3 4 5 okay for i is 0 now your i is 1 that means the first index okay so what it would uh, do is i am just talking of this part i am not considering this part for now okay so uh, uh, now i is your 1 that is the first position that means uh, we would be ignoring this so it is 2 and now at this position it would be getting the value of i plus 1 that means 3 3 4 and 5 the rest remains the same now i is 2 that means this so uh, now these two things remain same uh, 2 3 now 4 uh, 4 and 5 okay now i is 3 this one uh, so uh, till here our code is same uh, 2 3 4 and now in here i is 3 so now array at i would be um, getting the value of array at i plus 1 that is 5 5 okay and this is good now now your array is 4 okay so this one so till now our code here would be same that means uh, 2 3 4 5 now at this position when we are coming at this position uh, 5 array at uh, index 4 is array at index 4 plus 1 but 4 plus 1 does not exist there is null value in here so that is why it is giving us an exception that it, it is array out of bound exception so how to deal with that guys let me explain you uh, okay so we are in here now we would be going this array dot size minus one now this would work properly because this would now iterate only till fourth index and at array of four uh, this would be array plus one okay so let me uh, show you the output that what am i saying now yeah execute so yeah this time it executed successfully and in our debug see uh, 2 3 4 5 and 1 uh, as we uh, understood in the beginning that is 2 3 4 5 and 1 the array of rotation by 1 so now this is uh, good i hope you understood till now and why i am printing this one at outside is uh now uh, uh it is like this 2 3 4 5 and 5 till now this loop has executed so this is the last output that we were in now what we had is we had stored the first element because this element vanished away so we wanted to store this element so this first element contains value 1 now what we are doing is array array this array dot size that is the size of this array is 1 2 3 4 5 total size is 5 elements since this is uh, an index based so array of array dot size minus 1 would be this so at this point this would be the first element 
so instead of 5 this would be 1 okay array of size minus 1 so that is why I see 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 so array of size minus 1 is 5 minus 1 that is 4 that's why 1 is in here okay I hope uh, all this is clear till now and uh, now what we would be doing is uh, we would be modifying our code and uh, instead uh, uh, we would be having a variable like uh, um, integer uh, rotation size that is how many times do we want our rotation like one two three how many number of positions okay so let, let us say we want two times the rotation so uh, our output should be of uh, this type 3 4 5 1 2 okay now I want this type of output because this is of for two times so now what we have to do is uh, for uh, integer j is equal to 0 j is less than 2 j plus plus and uh, inside uh, all this we are to put this okay so what I did is in the j, uh, jth iteration j would be less than equal to uh, less than rotation size okay this we could uh, modify uh, accordingly so now let us see and check the output so control e execute debug so see 3 4 5 1 2 now if i say that my rotation size is 3 so uh, at mm, now this would be 4 5 one two and three so let us see the output as i told you guys four five one two and three okay so uh, now uh, the main panda is the talking about your space time complexity so in here what is happening is this is the first for loop that is running for n number of times and for the second for loop this is also running for a n number of times so the total cost in here is big O of n square okay that is n cross n this is the time complexity involved in this operation okay so I hope you understood the video for today and if you have any doubts uh, feel free to comment down below and thanks for watching